Make them go boom. Oh, I should turn on cinematic. There we go. Cinematic cam. Blam! Big explosions. Big explosions. No way. Two of them did not make it through. Finish that. Nope. Nope. Yeah, there we go. Are you good? If not, let's get good. It's Wednesday night, and that means I am playing Endless Space Falters. So in the last episode, we began basically pushing into the United Empire's space, as well as finishing off this hopefully last vestige of the Lavender Sophons. We are one turn away from hopefully annihilating them as a group. And then we'll be able to bring our other fleet down here to help out with the combat against the UE. Now, what do we have at Pardalis? We have a couple of Kit Kats and a clan ship. Okay, how many more Kit Kats did we have in queue? I think we've got another four to build. We also got kind of screwed last game because we got hit with three major negative anomalies in our home system that we can't fix yet. How far out are we from the tech to deal with those? Yeah, we're pretty far. We've got a little ways to go on that. Um, what we can do, though, is... Let's see, is there an expansion disapproval? Nope, not for a little while. There's one right here. And then there's also... This over here to deal with the major anomalies. Sorry, guys, I'm a little slow tonight. I am coming down with a flu, but I'm not going to miss an episode because of something silly like that. So I'm just going to keep going. Uh, this is actually really good. That'll give us some happiness. That might be the fastest road to happiness that we have. So I am more than happy to do that one. Plus one, yeah, per new ship class unlocked. Interesting. Is that command points? I think that is command points. Oh wow, so that's pretty good. Um, but I think we're okay with the stuff we have selected for right now. So we'll let all that finish and we will see if we have combat here. Do we have combat? Can we kill anyone? No, we cannot. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and end the turn. Sorry guys, that took a little bit longer than I had anticipated to really get going. But like I said, I wanted to uh, make sure we were doing everything right. Yes, 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 yes. See that? Like I thought, we have annihilated the Lavender Sophon. We also now control the choke points into our little galaxy right here. I don't know if galaxy is the correct term, but either way, we do control the choke points. Uh, unfortunately, that does mean that we should probably leave, you know, like, a fleet here to protect this place. That kind of sucks, though, because I don't want to leave a fleet that- Oh, wait a minute, we are the freaking- We are the vaulters, we don't need to leave crap here. Uh, we do need to build production upgrades and infinite supermarkets, and we do need to get out of strike, which is going to take us some time. I'm okay with that. Once we gain control of this system, though, we will build a vaulter's aperture. In fact, can we do that here yet? Yes, we can. Okay, so we're going to put a Valter's Aperture in Q here, and of course move it in front of the Industry to Science conversion. What does this do? Plus science, not going to do us much good. Oh wait, no, this is already considered a colony. Yeah, so we can build all the things. Okay, let's build that. Uh, do we need this? Not really. I don't think we're going to use this system as a ship production system. Although we could if there's enough. I don't think so. I think this is a much better ship production system because we can like colonize this huge lava planet right here and get some really good production. So instead, I think down here we will not build that. We will build everything else that we could possibly use. Uh, there's one small planet, so that's only going to give us plus one population. For minus two dust, I'm not sure that is entirely worth it. The Cisort sat uh, satellite is worth it, though. Do we need to do these? Not really. This is not a place that's going to have to be defended much. Yeah, I think that's good enough right there. We now have four Hyperium. Awesome. Yay. And what do we have in here? Depleted isotopes and an advanced fusion power. Uh, Dion, I have not forgot about naming a ship after you. I just am going to wait until we unlock the next ship model, which is fairly soon. We should get that. I mean, it's right there, right? Nope, it's right there. But that is something we're interested in picking up rather soon. So I think what we'll probably do is minus 100% on population growth on star system for colonizing an asteroid. Oh, I guess that makes sense, duh. Um, what do we have here? Colonized gas giants. Okay, so I think we'll add this and this to the queue. That'll get us to the ship that I will be naming after 
Dion. Um, let's see. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. If I'm not, I apologize. I am not the most literate person, and my brain is a little fried at the moment. Uh, let's go with... Oh, we could beam search for fun, but there's no real need for that. I think we'll just go ahead and go with barriers again. This is a pretty big... F <laughs> this is a pretty big slaughter, to be honest, but we're gonna manual it just because I like to do one each, each game, and this should be pretty entertaining. Oh, we also need to go rename one of the systems. Okay, we'll do that after this. That is the lowly UE fleet right there, with their tiny, tiny fleet of five. And there is our massive fleet that's coming to just decimate them. Go cheap thrills, go. They should kill all of those ships within this first phase, I think. But time will of course tell. Oh yeah, and we got the plus on the card. Yeah, we're gonna win. Kill them immediately. Make them go boom. Oh, I should turn on cinematic. There we go, cinematic cam. Blam! Big explosions, big explosions. No way. Two of them did not make it through. Finish that. Nope. Nope. Yeah, there we go. Boom, they go. We took a couple of hits, though. Like, you just saw a couple land right there at the end. Not super worried about it, though. Pretty sure we stomped them well and away. Let's see. Uh, yeah. And we got another level with this guy. And we got some dust because we killed dudes. Yay, dust. Um, let's see. Hyper driven. Nope. Dust wielder, maybe. What are we? We got cyber skilled already, so what are we working at for a fleet commander here? Um, we can take that, which isn't great. What about. Dust wielder is not terrible, but I don't really use dust tactics that much because they're not really necessary. We could take ground pounder, but that seems kind of useless too. Party constitution is an option. Security Specialist, I guess, is an option. Let's go look in here and see what we can find. Uh, Hyper Driven is like a, a super ability. Actually, let's get Dust Wielder 1 so we can get Illusion, because I love that ability. It just looks cool. Okay, so now we'll get Illusion next. And we did kill all those dudes. We are 36 turns away from taking over their home system. Which is quite a long time, to be honest. But, the good news is, we have this giant Ground Pounder fleet here that can beam on down pretty quickly. Well, it can't beam on down pretty quickly because we don't have Vaulter Apertures there yet. Uh, is this a combat fleet? I know we have a combat fleet up here. We do have a combat fleet up here to protect this system. I am good with that because we don't want to leave them incredibly vulnerable. We do have 600 dust. It is not enough to buy another Kit Kat ship. That is unfortunate. So we really need to deal with those negatives. So I'm going to come in here and make sure that after we get up to this... We work our way over to this. Now there are, of course, oh, and that's so good too because that increases our tonnage. Man, that is rough. Um, maybe what we do here is we rush science. We can totally do that too. Like in a system like this where we're just not making much anyway because we're on strike. Actually, I don't think we're making any, well, we are making some headway because these have turns attached to them. Uh, I think we'll leave that alone. But this place will be doing a bunch of science soon. This place is already doing a bunch of science. Is there any upgrades for science that they don't have yet? There is. There is this one. Let's make them build that. And let's also make these guys build that. Because they are a colony now. Awesome. Okay, and over here we're generating dust, but we really don't need dust. We want that more. And are they a colony? They are. So we'll build Sysort satellites, that, that, and we'll put the science conversion below it. How about Rookbot? What you got in Rookbot? Let's see. You are not an outpost, or you are not a colony yet. You're just an outpost, so we don't want to build any science stuff. We do want to build a Vaulter's Aperture, though, so we're going to do that. And then over here, we don't want to build any science stuff. We'll just leave it be. Okay, and we have ships moving. I'm not even sure where. Okay. Well, we have ships moving. I just don't know where. And we are still sieging this system. It is going to take quite a few turns if we don't change something here though are you kidding me minus one on three planets so we just lost three population because the events are just determined to screw us over and we found an empty moon on rookbot because why would we have a non-empty moon actually i want to come up here and make sure that we have done this already oh that's a moon survey and did we do these yeah it looks like we did okay that's fine we have a moon survey happening on nair now that should be cool, especially if we find something awesome there. I'm not entirely sure we will, but it's worth... Oh, oh, we can colonize the Husk of Knowledge now. 
That's kind of cool. Um, let's colonize the Husk of Knowledge. That is way down in the queue though, isn't it? Let's put it up at the top. Yeah, that'll take one turn to do. There's no reason not to do it. And do we have combat here? We do, I think. Maybe? No. They haven't reached us yet. They're right there though. We are waiting for them to reach us. We're just basically farming their ships. Oh, this is nice. Uh, Hydra's 4 discovered. Plus 20 dust. Plus 10% experience. When assigned to Hydra's, plus 10 experience. Bonus for each construction on hero at Hydra's. That's pretty good. We have encountered a new Sophon's Empire. Oh, and I forgot we need to rename this system. The biggest fight that we had against the Lavender Sophon's was here in Rookbot, so we are going to call this Lavender Sophon. Oh, it's too sh You don't have that much room to type, so I'm just going to put Sophon's done. We don't even have enough to do that. Okay, okay. Sophon's fit. No, no. Yeah, here we go. So fun, done. There we go. That is as close as I can get to the request that you made, Kendo. Sorry. Apparently the names are very, very limited in length. I always hate that. Like, they're just strings, guys. They're just strings. You can make them as long as you want. It's not going to hurt anything. Um, I understand it in this because, like, you want them to all be visible from the map. Makes sense. However, at the same time, like, give us longer names. It's not going to hurt anything. We're just going to make up really wonky weird stuff and have fun with it. But I mean, that's what you want, right? You want us to have fun with the game, so give us some long names to play with. Um, those all look good. What are you doing, sir? Oh, we have combat. Uh, it's a scout ship. Do we kill... <sighs> do we kill it, or do we try to keep peace? Actually, you know what? We do not need to kill it, but we're gonna piss them off if we, like, barricade it into the system anyway. So screw it, we're just gonna kill it. We're gonna kill it, and then we're gonna barricade the system. Die, Sophon ship. And then we are going to make sure that we put the system on lockdown. So it looks like that guy got there just in time to prevent the other Sophon group from becoming an issue. Destroyed ships during this phase will be considered alive. Oh, I love emergency shelter, it's so good. So is engine tuner too, though. Like, all of these are pretty good. We've got Harvester. What are we working towards? Was it Cyber Skilled? I think it was Cyber Skilled. Yep, it was Cyber Skilled. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take that last rank of Veteran to get us to Cyber Skilled. And we'll just end the turn. Oh wow, we're down to 13 turns to take over their capital. <laughs> I love it. The UE decided they were going to try to bully us around and now we are just taking over their home system and they can't do anything about it. How dare you try to face us. We will destroy you. Oh, and we have like a thousand dust. We have 1200 dust. We can make another Kit Kat, I think. Oh yeah, we can rush it for 600. I'm good with that. Oh, and we can build colonial rights now. That needs to be a priority. In fact, we can rush that, so we're going to, because we need the extra happiness. Hopefully that'll pull us out of strike. I doubt it. I'm really not sure that that's going to happen. But ooh, and we have careful sweeping now, which is also incredible. Gives us much, much more dust, especially in systems like this that have multiple moons. What else do we need? Hardened frames? Yeah, we'll take that too. So we're basically pushing the Kit Kat ships back a little bit longer, which I am not happy about because I'd like to get them out there in a full fleet going. But at the same time, like, those are some very important things for us to build, and they're important for us to build everywhere, not just there. So we're gonna put them in as many places as it makes sense to. Um, yeah, do a moon survey and this, and we're gonna wanna put those at the top of the queue. So I'm just going to take that out, move these up. Actually, that's the first one, then that, then that, then all the other stuff. That makes sense. Okay, now let's check Karana. They should have plenty of things to build now that they've been doing dust for a while. Colonial rights. Uh, what else do you guys need? This? No, that's not going to help you much. That is... See, I... I remember this being incredibly broken or something, so like you didn't really want to use it because it wasn't actually as good as it claims to be. But I feel like maybe they fixed it. I don't know. I'm going to leave it alone for right now. Let's go over to Bracia and see what they've got. Um, You can build colonial rights, and it makes sense because you are a colony. And we'll put that right at the top of your queue. How many moons do you have? Two? So that means... Oh, yeah, we would... Wait, wait, no. That's on... Yeah, no, that actually doesn't do anything for this system right now, so we're not going to bother with it. So fond done. I actually really like that name. Thank you for the suggestion, Kendo. I'm quite fond of this. 
Uh, we have two moons, but only one of them is on a colonized planet, so we're not going to worry about that. Over here, we'll build some colonial rights as well, and once again, careful sweeping is not a huge priority. All right, and that's our science. Or no, that was, that was science. Yeah, this is production. Okay, good. And let's do some stuff. Let's kill some dudes and take some names and steal some systems and be awesome. Let's merge the two fleets that are invading, and then we will... No, 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 no. Don't disband. Don't disband. Okay, good. Kill the heck out of... Oh, they have a hero this time. This could actually be a fight. It's not going to be a fight, but I can pretend, right? Uh, let's go Nosebreaker, and should we manual this one? They do have a hero. No. Let's just crush them. Manualing just wastes time. Okay, they are gone. And it looks like they have another fleet down here, but it won't matter. I'm almost tempted to just bring our Kit Kats up and send them down here just to kill stuff because they can. But I think we'll wait until we have a full fleet. Alright guys, that's it for this episode. We did eliminate the Lavender Sofons, and we are about to take the capital of the UE in 11 short turns. Yeah, 11 short turns, haha, -ha, right? Anyways, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave something in the comments. I apologize once again if the commentary was a little drab today, but I am coming down with something and my head is just like pounding and the more I talk, the worse it gets. So keep gaming responsibly.